Hi there, I'm Jeff at the Denver Folklore Center and uh, we're talking a little bit of banjo today. Um, kind of an overview of uh, the different types of banjos, uh, five string banjos in this world. And what I'm holding here is a uh, beautiful ohm banjo with a 12 inch pot. These are built up in Boulder um, by the ohm banjo company and they've been building for, oh, since 1962 as a matter of fact. But the general overview of banjos. This is an open back banjo, meaning no back on this guy. No resonator is what that back part is called. This is another open back banjo. That's by Gold Tone. That's definitely more affordable than say the one, this beauty I've got right here. On this side, I have some resonator banjos. Notice we have backs on these. That's a resonator. These resonator banjos are aimed generally for bluegrass players. Bluegrassers like more volume, uh, more sustain, a brighter tone. These open back banjos are aimed more for old time um, music, kind of string band, Appalachian string band music, that sort of thing. A uh, deeper tone, a little more bassy, not as loud either. Those resonators direct the sound outward, plus they add their own color to the tone. And with an open back, you actually are your own resonator because some of the sound goes right into your stomach and your chest. And that is actually a little bit of the uh, tone of uh, an open back banjo. So in the open back world, we have diff a couple different sizes in general, 12 inch from here to here. This is an 11 inch open back. I'm gonna grab that for a second. This is a CC50 by Gold Tone. These are great banjos for beginners up through really intermediate players. This is about the most affordable banjo we sell at roughly $380. That includes a gig bag. We rent these so we know they're tough. Um, they have a very good sound and they're very reliable. And they have all the features that you need on a five string banjo. They've got great tuners. They play uh, in tune very nicely. Uh, very decent sound. Now, if you're a beginning banjo player or want to be a banjo player, this is a great choice whether you want to do bluegrass or old time. Um, generally, if you're going to end up playing bluegrass, you're going to want to resonate or banjo at some point but you can do everything on these open backs. Uh, if your budget is, you know, you're trying to uh, save on your budget a little bit, an open back banjo is a great way to go. It's gonna get you a couple years down the road because you're gonna be working on your right hand a lot and some basics on the left hand. This is, uh, plays uh, very similarly to any resonator banjo. It's more the, the tone and the volume that are produced um, that are going to be the differences when you get into a resonator banjo. So CC50 open back. This is kind of, um, you know, our, our affordable. Uh, you probably wonder, well, what's that ohm cost? Well, this is a 12 inch Jubilee and that's right at about, oh, 2,600 or so. Worth every penny for it. Absolutely beautiful banjo. Um, so there's a kind of a little look at our open backs. Let's, uh, Let's let Jeff get his picks on here, and he, that's another big difference. Open back banjos played in an uh, old time style, what's called claw hammer or frailing. Um, no picks necessary. We use one fingernail, either the index or the second finger, and we just use the thumb, regular old thumb. Play bluegrass banjo, resonator, you're going to want a set of picks, and we have one on the index, one on the second, and then we have a different one for the thumb. So there we have a set of picks for banjo. Oh my goodness, here's a, this is a Deering Sierra. This is one of the flagship models by Deering, which is a wonderful banjo company. All US banjos, US made out in California. Um, family run operation, Greg Deering and his wife and now the da their daughter has uh, taken over operations basically. It's a wonderful uh, success story. 
and they sell things oh roughly from the five hundred dollar range uh, up to and well above this too. Get just getting fancier and fancier. This is roughly twenty seven hundred dollars. Notice resonator. Okay, directs the sound outward, but really the big difference on a high end bluegrass banjo is all of the metal that's on it. Um, it gets very heavy. The more the heavier it is, or the more mass you have, it just keeps those rings, uh, strings ringing. So it's kind of like an electric guitar um, in that there's this solid body that's very massive and you put a string in motion and that body is just ringing and letting that, that string um, not lose any energy. And so that's put into the body of the banjo. Let's talk a little bit more about resonator banjos. We touched on the weight or the mass. Uh, generally, the more expensive a resonator banjo is, the heavier it is. Uh, a very important feature on resonator banjos, particularly, is what's called a tone ring. And a tone ring, you can't really see it on the banjo, it's inside, but it is a hoop or ring that sits on top of the wooden pot here. So the actual contact point of this head is on the tone ring right inside there. It's all the way around the edge. A tone ring adds um, brightness, even brilliance, if you will. It adds more sustain, so the notes are just ringing longer. Uh, that's one reason tone rings, in general, are not as important on open back banjos, because open back players aren't looking for a banjo that's just ringing endlessly. Bluegrass players are. They're looking for a bright, ringy tone. A tone ring can be quite elaborate. This one has a very classic uh, bluegrass tone ring, that's actually part of it right there under the top part. So it's a big, massive hoop that sits on this banjo. It's more than a couple pounds, that actual tone ring for this. And that's typical of a higher end bluegrass banjo or bluegrass tone ring. So let's just, uh, let's hear a little bit of uh, what a higher end bluegrass banjo sounds like. And uh, this is our Deering Sierra. Tone CC 50 RP is a wonderful choice for um, kind of your budding bluegrass banjo player. This can get you well down the road um, as far as tone, as far as the volume you're going to need um, once you're playing with others, even if it's just a guitarist. But let's remember, one of the reasons resonator banjos are um, so loud is because Typically, they're played in an ensemble setting, in a bluegrass type setting, usually meaning guitar, maybe a mandolin, maybe a fiddle. Uh, we've got the banjo trying to, as we say, cut through all the, uh, the other instruments, so to speak, and uh, bass possibly could be in that same lineup. Um, and so that's the main reason for getting uh, good volume, sustain, and tone in a banjo. So this CC50RP is in the roughly 500 range. Um, the beautiful Deering Sierra here, much heavier banjo, a little bit louder, um, a few more bells and whistles, but that's kind of in the higher end range, around the 2700 range. We have some good selections in that kind of 500, 800, 1000, and then, you know, jumping, oh no, there's about, oh, 1500, and then jumping up to something like that. So. That is uh, kind of the price spread, um, but it's fairly typical of anything in here, whether it be guitars, mandolins, good solid student instrument that gets you down the road all the way up to pretty much professional grade stuff. Um, let me play just a little bit of Cripple Creek on this one, because that's what the CC stands for, Cripple Creek 50 RP, and here we go. 